All right, welcome back. Just in case you just joining us, you're still watching STV News Hub here in the city of Lagos. And our focus for this morning is setting an agenda for elected officers across every um, status of the nation's economy, from the presidency to the governors and the legislators and maybe the, the state House of assembly. We've been speaking with uh, John C. Nabali, who is a, uh, a public affairs analyst. He's been doing pretty well on this matter. But I've just been told that we are being joined in our Potakot studios. We have um, Na Nabulobari Naziga Lui, is a River State um, Chairman, National Association of Democratic Lawyer. Yes, uh, I'll probably just stay with you as uh, Naziga Louis, if that's okay with you. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, very well said. Now, you, you've been following our conversation. Um, the issue is all about um, we, need, we need a progressive agenda for the nation's economy for the next 23 years. Now, we are almost running out of time, but before uh, we do that, tell us quickly, in very short terms, what would you think should be government's number one focus in this new dispensation? Okay, um, I'm afraid you really can't hear me, but um, if you can, um, we'll, we'll, we'll stay with you. We'll stay with you. Yes, um, Johnson, you've said so much. Like I said before we took a break, your approach seemed quite holistic. Let's narrow it down a little bit. Um, the legislators are also there. Uh, that's members of the House of Reps and the National Assembly. Uh, what would you be expecting? What would we be expecting from them? Critical changes, critical approach to critical issues that could move uh, the nation to the next level. There has been this cry for amendments in our constitution. There has been also this cry for restructuring of um, the nation's um, position. Uh, electoral bill, electoral act, I mean reforms, these are all the cries that uh, we've heard over time. Tell me, wouldn't you think that this should be considered very seriously by our legislators? Well, I, I, first of all, before you start to talk about amending constitution and uh, uh, reviewing restructuring and all of that, can we please define where we want to be in 20 years? Can we have that conversation? Can Nigeria as a country decide where do you want to be in 20 years? Now, if you can evolve a vision of the next 20 years, it brings all these other issues into context. Then you realize for, to achieve X, Y, and Z, we might have to restructure maybe economic restructuring, give devolved power a little bit to some of the, uh, you know, uh, confederating states. And then it brings in the issues of constitutional amendment. If you need to amend constitution, it must be within the context of achieving a bigger goal. Okay, because we want to be this size in Africa, we want to be top 10 in the world by 2040, there are elements in our constitution that will not allow us to do so. All right, we need smaller governments, and as a result of that, we might need to remove move that class in our constitution that says that you have to produce, you know, ministers from every state. We don't have to. You know, it now gives a context for what you want to do. If you do not have an over akin vision that provides a context for all these other small activities, we'll be acting in small silos. And then you would have done X, Y, Z and realize that it's not really driving us anywhere because there is no anywhere to go. All right, so I think one of the first things the Nigerian political elite should sit down and decide right now for the good of this country is, what do we want, where do we want to be in 20 years? I mean, Dubai had that conversation, Singapore had that conversation, definitely. China had that conversation. And that conversation helped them to decide steps they need to take to achieve that goal. China had a 50-year plan. You know, Europe had a 50-year divorce plan. You know, other countries have all these big plans. And then all those plans now help them decide what is a political structure we require to achieve this plan. What kind of economic structure do we need? China now evolves something they call selection and election. All right? It's a different model of democracy. It's just that this time, they don't just throw it out to parties and the people. They select from the brightest and best and allow the rest of the nation to vote from the pool of the brightest and best that they have right, selected. Justin, let me pause you, know, you there. Let me pause you thing. there for a moment. Uh, yeah. Justin Porter, because he's back. Uh, right. Nabulo Bari, Naziga, Louis. Uh, Nabulo Bari, yes. Uh, glad to have you back. If you've been following our conversation, it's been, uh, we're talking about setting agenda for the elected officers, both at federal level and state levels. 
as well. So far, we've talked about healthcare, education, and for the legislators, how to uh, restructure or shape our country. And our guests in Lagos have been saying we should have a long-term view of what we want Nigeria to look like in 20 years. Well, let me bring you back to um, another point raised when we uh, took out this opinion poll. Uh, people are calling for uh, states to be able to generate uh, their IGRs and not run into the federal government for bailout funds. Uh, we know that some states are just uh, basically civil service states and they have little or nothing to generate income for their states. Uh, can you tell me uh, what are the ways forward for states like this that always run for bailout funds from the federal government? Well, I, I think like, that um, fundamentally uh, for us to get it right this time around, uh, we, must, we must have to restructure Nigeria. In terms of, in terms of restructuring our, our, our country, uh, I think the states will be able to now also sit, sit down and think of what, what ways they can actually generate their own internal, uh, internal revenue to run their states. You see, we, we cannot continue in, in this way that uh, states will definitely go to Abuja uh, every, maybe every 30 days to, 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 to get funds from, from the federal government to, to, to run their states. But if we restructure Nigeria, and then we sit down and, and think that, you see, there are, some, there are some group of persons that shouldn't even be together in, in, in the same state. There is no reason why maybe, you, for example, you see the, the Yoruba-speaking uh, uh, states that they, they will be in about six or, or, or more states. They, 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 this, these are not what states are in any other federation of the world. We must sit down and restructure our country in such a way that people can even say, oh, I, I, we need, we have the same kind of uh, agenda, we have the same kind of vision, we have the same kind of program that can also drive our development forward. So that maybe some, some let's say some Igbo speaking parts of River State, so to say, can join their Igbo speaking uh, uh, brothers in the Southeast and then they also sit down and know that they have the same vision and the same aspiration as a people. There is no reason why you balkanize an ethnic group into five states and then you lump up maybe about 30 other ethnic groups in, in, into one state. People must sit down and say, okay, this is our own constitution. Say, for example, in River State, if there are some five or six ethnic groups in River State, there is no reason why they should not have their own constitution, how they run, them, they run their own state. So that power can also, also devolve to the smaller, smaller groups in those states. In that way, even in the, in the, in the, in the nation at large, we, we can get to a point where the government can also, okay, you see, like we are, we are talking about devolution of powers. There is no reason why the government will be with the doling out funds to, to states. In other federations of the world, the higher your number, the higher the percentage of the resources that you also contribute to the center. It is not vice versa where we you know you, you see that maybe in, a, in the state where you have one million persons, you apportion or you, you dole out bonus in terms of the number to those states. The, 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 the population in that state ought to be the, 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 the driving force of, that, of their own economy to the extent that the higher you, your number, the higher the percentage of resources that you also contribute to the center so that we run the federation. It shouldn't be in a, a situation where the, everything is oil. And that is why we are not getting it right. Because we, we continue to say, oh, we are not also thinking, just like uh, uh, your guest in the studio was saying, we are not thinking of how Nigeria will be in the next 20 years. Assuming oil dries up in Nigeria today, Nigeria does not have any vision whatsoever to drive themselves forward in, uh, to, 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 to be like any other developing nation of the world. We are just particularly uh, 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 keen into oil and oil and oil. And then that is why we are also d d d d uh, killing our own environment and killing our people. People don't even think our leaders don't even have the vision. What exactly are we doing to people in this oil producing area so that they can survive beyond oil? What exactly are we doing so that people who don't have oil can also use their, their, their human resources to drive their own development? So we will sit down and, and, and think. And yeah. more, the, the, the more we do All that, right. to the extent Nazinga, that we can also... Um, I'm also, afraid like, we're like out of time um, you see that uh, discussing this issue for now, but I'm now aware must, you're going to stay must, with us for our next conversation. So many thanks for talking to us. Uh, we're looking at um, the issue around um, setting an agenda for uh, the next government, I mean the, the, the next dispensation. Thank you, and then still stay with us there in Apotakot. We'll come back to you in our next conversation. So um, before we let you go, Johnson, quickly, 
as quickly as you can. Mm -hmm. What's the way forward? It's, 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 it's looking very bleak for Nigeria. Is that we have a National Assembly. I really think the National Assembly should call an assembly. You know, it gets um, the stakeholders. Do you mean the Eighth Assembly or the Ninth, the ninth. Assembly? The, ninth. Okay. the Eighth Assembly is inspired, really, essentially. They are just a bit in time. The Ninth Assembly should come together and have a conversation about what kind of country they want to see in the next 20 years. Very important because legislation plays a key role in driving any kind of national reforms. All right, so if they can start to have that conversation, bring all the experts and have this conversation now that cuts across education, that cuts across economy, that cuts across industry, that cuts across jobs, all right, where would Nigeria be in 20 years in terms of GDP? in terms of our regional influence in Africa, in terms of top 10 in the world, you know, where, what would be our rate? So if we can define this as clearly as possible, then it now forms the basis for all the other smaller reforms around okay, education. Nice. All, otherwise, if there is no over ache and go, anything you are doing there, it is just political showmanship. Right. Because after four years, we are back to having the same conversation so again okay. because we cannot measure where we have been because we don't even know where, where we are going. going. So All right, thank, thank you. you so much, Johnson mm -hmm. Nabali, Public Affairs Analyst. Thank you for your time with us on the program. We shall revisit this, uh, this topic because it's of, of interest to Nigerians. But once again, thank you for your time with us. Thank you, it's a pleasure. All right, we'll take a break. And when we come back, more discussions, please stay with us.